Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe, serious betting for serious punters. G'day, welcome to Inside the Barriers. We've got a super weekend of racing. It's going to be highlighted by Rose Hill as the carnival rolls on up there in Sydney town. We're looking at a soft track, not so much heavy, but there is rain predicted late in the week. Down here in Victoria, it's the standalone Mornington Cup meeting for that Mooney Valley, William Reid on the Friday night. Plenty happening. Here's the man, Paulo. How are you? I'm very well, BM. Uh, I think we need a, a bit of a defibrillator for last week. It was a <laughs> shocker for me last week. Just Isotope, I think, is still still running. The, she had the death drift in the market and just never, never, ever, ever looked likely in, in that galaxy. But uh, we move on to this week, another big weekend. Hopefully we can find some winners for the punters. Well, it's an interesting program and um, just harping back to last week, you know, what, what do you do with Very Elegant? Is she just getting a little bit inconsistent in terms of her age? She's a rising, what, seven-year-old mare uh, next time round. Um, had that race shot to pieces on yeah. the turn but didn't factor in Montefilia. Being there on track for the, the slipper, great day. Got a big thrill to the home turn with Lady Laguna. She's going to go and line up again in the Percy Sykes in about two weeks' time. She loomed up like she oh, was going to explode. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. You were almost counting the check at the top of the street. Yeah, not so much. I'm just thinking postcodes, moved, in, <laughs> moved two neighbourhoods. Uh, Buy a house in Randwick. Beach house. You know. <laughs> No, I Nothing. Think, look, I think very elegant. One thing we can't do is doubt Chris Waller. That, no, that's no. one thing we, we cannot do. But how many times do you see in these small fields, the dollar thirty favourite just goes around and they get beaten by something out in front? Look, Montefilia is no slouch, and mm. I think she's going to go on to bigger and better things this preparation. They're different gravy in terms. Absolutely, of exactly right. right. Yeah. And and very elegant might even be being held back for her. Um, voyage overseas. She, she may be going to, well, we think she's going to, to the Ark yeah. in France in the middle yeah. of the year. So maybe Chris Waller might just be just holding her off of, in, until that massive race. So interesting to see what happens. But uh, this Tancred's going to be uh, an absolute cracker BM. Yep, they're all turning up from the Australian Cup. Dualis, uh, he looked fantastic. Yep. He was so strong late. Yep. Um, he's got to be the one to beat, but what do you do with Think It Over? Yeah, Think It Over is the second favourite at the moment. You ask at $2.90. In this race as well, he's going to be the punters pick, BM, for the punters at betterlux.com.au. Yep. So make sure you leave your trifecta tips in the comments section on our social media pages. We still can't give away this $500 Amazing. Dan Murphy's gift voucher. We had a... We had a couple of smart Alex trying to get the result after the race of the All-Star Well, I was thirsty, Paul. So, <laughs> <laughs> Streets of Avalon running a big yeah. third. But uh, yeah. no, no. Uh, she's ideal at 950 Spanish Mission at 440 Stockman at $13. Dewis, who win, in the, who win last start at Flemington was, was fantastic. Exactly. Raided through the roof. But my only concern here is coming back to the heavy tracks got the good track at Flemington, yep. which is what she yep. was after. She yep. got the race run to suit. And think it over, I'm not sure if the 2,400 metre suits. And that's why I'm going to go with this Joseph Pride runner, Stockman. Oh, yeah. Handles the wet going. And I just love Joseph Pride horses on the wet tracks as well. And I think he is the horse in the race that can really get up to that 2,400 metre mark. And I love the fact that Joseph Pride has kept him away from these big Group 1 races. I reckon he's ready to peak. He's got a good base of residual fitness that can, I think, yeah. run a big race here. And he's going to be uh, my on-top pick for the punters pick. Duas, uh, I've got him for second. And Spanish Mission was backed off the map last start and probably just needed the run, I think, at Flemington. Led them up. It's a good fitness run. Sitting shot. Correct. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So I think getting up to that 2,400 metres. And I think I said it a few weeks ago, he needs to get up to this distance range. Third, fourth and fifth up is when he's going to peak. So I'm... Four, eleven, and two in the punters' pick, BM. I'll cop your tip about Stockman and the ground, but I'm still really in the Dewas uh, court. I just mm. love the way this horse finished off. I hope it doesn't get to heavy ground, but I'm eleven, one, and four. Eleven, one, four. So that'll be my trifecta if you're trying to win that Tam Murphy five hundred dollars, and that of course is for the big one, the Tancred Stakes. Exactly. We need to give that punters' pick away. All right. Now, what about the Vinery? This is a terrific lead-up for the Oaks. Uh, 2,000 metres. Uh, Oaks coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, hope in your heart's one that I'm, I'm a little bit keen about. I've been watching this horse. It went on to the Provincials mm -hmm. to that big uh, Phillies race recently and ridden a little closer, luckless in the straight. Didn't get a lot of sort of lined through the field with uh, William Pike. Kay McAvoy goes on. Um, 
That's my long range oaks tip. Yeah, I think in this binary status, but look, hinged. Oh, she's my one of she's my one of my new girl. She's, girl. Yep. she's the favourite at four dollars, and I think rightfully so. She's come out of those Group One races uh, during the autumn too. But I'm just not too sure about the step up to two thousand metres. She looks like a horse who's going to be able to handle yeah. it. We know she gets through the going, the, the heavy going too. Gypsy Goddess is a very intriguing runner for yes. David Van Dyke. Yep. Brings the Queensland form down. She's got a picket fence. She's undefeated. Not sure if that form. Has too much substance to it. William Pike takes the ride. Fangirl at five fifty, pretty amazing at seven dollars, and never been kissed for Gay and Adrian uh, at eight dollars. But look for me, I'm going to be with Hinged purely because I think she's the class horse in the race, and I think with Chris Waller, you want to see him go. You want to see him going up in distance with these horses, and I think she's a horse that he's finally unlocked the key to because he only he only just got her last spring. So this is the second preparation with him. I think he's found the go with her and, and that is to sort of get her riding in with a sit. She's a class horse and yep. she, she's flying at the moment. And she is. Lo loved her run last start behind Lighthouse and I think the step up to 2,000 is going to suit. All right. Uh, that's the second of the Group 1s now. The Neds, uh, Mornington Cup, 2,400 metres. Um, golden ticket into the Caulfield Cup, as we know. Mm -hmm. Crystal Pegasus, 56 kilos. Pondus probably defibrillate. Uh, the dangers, but I mean, this is a perfect gold ticket straight through to the spring, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's perfect as well, and and you get you'll get in on the minimum weight yeah, too, which yeah. is which is great, especially for those those handy. Sue Williams to ride, exactly right. So Crystal Pegasus still the second favourite at two dollars and seventy cents. Pondus at two dollars and sixty cents was a fabulous last start winner at uh, Flemington. Sacramento and Dadoosdart bring down the Sydney form. Sacramento with Damien Oliver in the saddle at five fifty. Dadoosdart at eight bucks and Defibrillate at eight dollars. I think the Duzart is the one to be with. I think he's been a he's been an import that's always promised a lot for Ooh. the for the Hawks stable, Ooh. but just hasn't been able to deliver. Could be the acclimatisation issue as well, coming down here to the southern hemisphere, warmer climate. I think Hawks have got him right. I liked his run last start. Has a starting price advantage over Sacramento. John McNeil hops on. I think he's the one to be with on an each way basis at eight dollars BM. Yeah, that makes a bit of sense. And the Hawks team used a horse, was it last year or the year before, straight through to the Caulfield? Yes, with Willie Pike. Willie Pike in the yeah. saddle, that's correct. Yeah. So could be could be similar vibes yeah. here as well, yeah. BM. Your pick in this. Yeah, Crystal I'm going to go with Crystal yep. Pegasus. I think yep. lightly raced uh, six from nineteen. <laughs> I just like the way he powered away and won by five at Flemington. <laughs> Never in doubt, and he stays on fifty six on the fifty four limit. Small number, uh, and Pondus has been entered for the Sydney Cup, but they're a little bit worried about the 32, and they know that if they can win this, they're straight into the Caulfield Cup. And we can't doubt the connections. Nope. The, the Williams nope. family, you know how nope. good they are with their staying races. What about the Guineas, Mornington? Yeah, this is an intriguing race. This is where my bet of the day is going to be. So, Ancient Girl, yep. she's the $2.60 favourite at the moment. Look, Zarel's also coming back from a Group 1 race where ran behind Hitotsu at, at about 80 to 1 in the Australian Guineas. So, she's a $12 elect at the moment. But for me, I'll be siding heavily with, with Ancient Girl here. I thought her win in Adelaide where she she just burnt the candle from, from end to end. It was a fantastic effort. And Philly off a win too. She's going to map perfectly for Mornington. The, I think the wide gate is going to suit her because yeah. just, she's just going to have to go. They're just going to have to go straight to the front and, you know, that tight turning track at Mornington is going to favour on paces and she'll be my best of the weekend. Ooh, I Saturday like the sound BM. of that now. William Reid is the group one on Friday night to get us rolling into mm -hmm. the weekend. Marabi, gee, he's a brilliant horse. Uh, he was there to be beaten in the Oakley Plate. He goes to the group one here. Some shorties have won it. Uh, one that was pretty handy was one called Black Caviar. Yeah, she went all right. Yeah, she went okay. <laughs> uh, sunlight a couple of years ago at $1.70. What do you got, Marabi? $1.65 at the yeah. moment. This uh, undefeated uh, mare for the uh, Kieran Maher and Dave Eustace stable. The astrologist, we're not sure if it's going to run in the William Reed or in the Hariba at Mornington. So it's an $11 elect. Yep. Kemal Parsa and the Inferno at $15 as his September run. But there is one here at 50 to 1. Whoa. And she goes by the name of Zuzarella. Yeah. Now, she's been plugging away up in Sydney, those bog tracks up there in those sort of Group 1, Group 2 races over 1,200 metres and 1,400 metres behind Fangirl, Espiona, Hinge, all those types of runners. I think getting back to the Melbourne way of going... At Mooney Valley, which is a track she handles fantastically well. She's two from two at the track. Yeah, good point. She's drawn barrier nine. And you could do worse than have a few bob each way on Zuzarella at, at 50 to one. So I think the only knock on, on, on Marab Marabai is that 
I think her twelve her last her twelve hundred meter run two starts ago was against sort of seven furlong horses who were yes. resuming. Yeah. And she had the advantage of getting the Brits. front. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think I think she's just gonna be a little bit vulnerable in the last Pretty hundred sure. meters yeah. here. We saw in the Oakley plate over eleven she was they were just starting to make ground on her in the last 50 metres, and I think that that's what might happen here. Look, deserved favourite, obviously. Yep. She's a Group 1 winner now, but Zuzarella at 50-1, to 1, I think her price is, is way over the odds. You've done a little form for the uh, the weekend, the Friday night, but, of course, every day you never sleep. I don't know how you do it. No, I've got, I've got to keep doing it, mate. I've got to, yeah. got to put money in the pocket somehow. So <laughs> tips.betdeluxe.com.au is where all my handiwork is at. The punters pick again for the Tancred BM. Yep. I've gone 4, 11 and 2. So Stockman, Duas, Spanish Mission. Your numbers? 11, 1, 4. So hopefully someone can collect this $500 Dan Murphy's gift voucher this weekend. My best of the weekend, again to reiterate, is Ancient Girl in the Mornington Guinea. She's around a $2.50 elect. Okay, I think she's going to lead go, the way. go with Crystal Pegasus, number 4, in the one, the, the Mornington Cup, the five. Good luck, BM. Good and on good you. luck to all the punters at Bet Deluxe. Good man. There it is. That's inside. The Barriers brought to you by Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters. Gamble responsibly. Inside the Barriers brought to you by Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters.